In this two-minute tech tip, we will discuss several date formulas that can be used in Smartsheet. Date formulas are very helpful when creating reports using the sum if and count if formulas. They allow you to filter data based on specific dates or date ranges. Sum if or count if can be used to return a value based on a variable being equal to, equal to or greater than, or less than or equal to a date. We will show how to return the following. Today's date. The date for Friday of the current week. The date of next Friday. Current month start date. And next month start date. Please note, the column type must be set to date for these date formulas to return a date value. This can be done by double clicking on the column header and changing the column type to date. Let's start with our first example. To return a value of today's date. Start typing the formula by entering the equals sign in the selected cell to indicate that you are entering a formula. Type today in capital letters, followed by an opening parenthesis. This opening parenthesis begins the formula. To end the formula, type a close parenthesis. Here is the formula to return the date of Friday of the current week. This formula uses a combination of the weekday and today formulas. Please note, the weekday formula uses the number values listed below for each day of the week. In this example, the 6 represents Friday. We can change the 6 to a different value if we want to return a different day of the week. To return the date for the next Friday on the calendar we will add an if formula in combination with a weekday formula. This formula says if the current weekday is greater than the value we wish to return, in this case 6 or Friday, return Friday of the current week plus 7 days, otherwise, return the Friday of the current week. We can change these 6s to a different value if we want to return a different day of the week. In the last example we will show the formula to return the start date of the current month. To do this we will use a combination of the month, day, and year formulas. We can change the 1 in the month formula to a different number if we want to return a different date in the current month. For example, if we want to return the 21st day of the current month, we would change the 1 to a 21. If we want to return the start date for the next month we would use this same formula, but change the plus 0 in the month formula to a plus 1. We would also change the 21 back to a 1. We hope this tutorial helped you better understand a few of the date formulas in Smartsheet. Please visit our sum if and count if tutorial to learn how you can use them to create reports. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, SmartLink Basics, for more helpful tips.